This is my ranking of the top five scenes from The Force Awakens. At number five, we have Rey and Finn meeting in the escape from Jakku. One of my favorite aspects of The Force Awakens that I feel was severely lacking in the other two films was the relationship between Rey and Finn. I really like their first encounter and how Finn lies to her about being in the Resistance. It's silly, but I love my Star Wars humor being silly. When Rey says she thinks Luke Skywalker was a myth, I just love how her arc goes full circle by the end of The Rise of Skywalker. She goes from thinking he's a myth to taking on the Skywalker name for herself. Small things like that just really make me happy as a Star Wars fan. The introduction of the Falcon is one of my favorite moments too. I'll never forget the reaction from the crowd when I first saw it. Lastly, I just really enjoyed this dogfight with the Falcon and the two TIE Fighters. The chemistry between Rey and Finn is perfect to me, and I just love how Rey struggles to fly the Falcon up until the end of the fight. And if you feel that Rey's ability to fly is ridiculous, go check out this video on me talking about Rey being able to fly when you're done with this ranking video. But overall, this scene is just too much fun to watch, and always puts a smile on my face. Before I continue on with number 4, please don't forget to go vote for your 5 favorite scenes from the sequel trilogy. I will be accepting votes up until Saturday, July 25th. On Sunday, July 26th, I will be revealing the top 20 scenes that you, the fans, have voted for. There's more information on the video in the link above, so go check it out if you're interested. So everyone, please pause this video and go vote in that poll. It would really mean the world to me. Thank you so much, and let's get on with the ranking. At number 4, we have the lightsaber fight between Rey, Finn, and Kylo Ren. I really like the emotion behind this fight. Finn is furious that his only friend was hurt, so it shows when he is fighting. And the way Kylo just toys with Finn is perfect, and it shows how much stronger he is with the Force than Finn is. The brief exchange they have before the fight is one of my favorites as well. The way she calls him a monster ties in perfectly with her conversation in The Last Jedi, when she calls him a monster again and he's like, yes I am. I like the location a lot too. Something about the dark, snowy forest and the way the lightsabers glow is beautiful. I will never forget how I felt when I first saw Rey take the lightsaber for the first time. That was like a super goosebumps moment for me. I also love how Kylo is just easily in control of the fight up until when Rey taps into the Force. I know this fight is overly criticized because apparently Rey should not have been able to beat him, but I made a whole video disagreeing with that notion so go check out that video. The music during this fight is great. I love how the lightsabers actually have weight to them unlike the prequels. And the visuals at the end when Rey finally beats Kylo is perfect. This fight will always hold a special place in my heart, and that's why I love it so much. At number 3 we have Rey's introduction. Now this scene goes from we first meet her in the Star Destroyer, to when she saves BB-8. Now just like the previous two scenes, I made a video about this too, so if you want a more in-depth look at my thoughts on this scene, then go check out that video as well. But in short, my favorite aspect of the scene is how much we learn about Rey without her saying a single line of dialogue for most of the scene. Again, almost the whole scene passes before she speaks, and we learn so much about her. We learn about her skill set, how hard life is for her, her attachment to her parents, how alone she really is, and her compassionate nature. Scenes where we learn a lot about a character with very little dialogue will always be some of my favorites. This is also the first time we hear Rey's theme, which is one of the best themes in Star Wars in my opinion. Lastly, the visuals are amazing. Shots like these I can stare at all day. I love how the scene has like 5 different shots that could easily be the wallpaper on my computer. And those are the main reasons why Rey's introduction is number 3. At number 2 we have the conversation between Rey and Maz Kanata on Taco Dana. This is a brief scene, but I love it so much. The way Maz talks about the Force is so refreshing after the way it was talked about in the prequels. But the best part about this scene is what Maz says to Rey. The line, the belonging you seek is not behind you, it is ahead, is the emotional core of this movie. 
Rey's whole arc in this movie is learning to let go of her past and accept that her destiny is in the future. Hearing these words from Maz is so important to Rey's journey. Also, the way she storms off afterwards is literal proof that Rey is not a Mary Sue, but that is a story for another time. Rey is so insecure about her relationship with her parents that she just straight up runs away. The vulnerability of Rey in this scene is what makes me relate to her so much, and that's why this scene is my second favorite. And lastly, my favorite scene in The Force Awakens is the death of Han Solo. I'll be honest, the way this scene is paid off in The Rise of Skywalker really made me appreciate it here so much more. But easily the best part of this scene is Han. He has grown so much from the way he was in the original trilogy. In A New Hope, he was selfish and only did it for the money, but here everything's different. He has a son. I bet you the second Han spoke out Ben's name, he knew he was probably going to die, but that didn't matter to him. Seeing Han risk his life just so there is a chance that his son would turn back to the light side is beautiful. Even after he gets stabbed through the heart, his last moment in his life is to show his son who just killed him how much he still loves him. The unconditional love of a father for his son is perfect and so emotional to watch and is so important to the themes of Star Wars. And knowing that his sacrifice did end up working was a perfect way to end his character. I need to make a longer video about this, but this is easily my favorite scene from The Force Awakens. And that is my ranking of the top 5 scenes from The Force Awakens. In 2 days I will be releasing my top 5 scenes from The Last Jedi, and in 4 days I will be releasing my top 5 scenes from The Rise of Skywalker. And as I said earlier, on Sunday I will be releasing the top 20 scenes from the entire trilogy according to you guys, and then that following Tuesday I will release my top 10 scenes from the entire trilogy. So go check out those videos if you're watching them after they are released. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.